In this video, we're going to learn how to use no fire zones and priority fire zones on the DCS AH64D. All right, guys, welcome aboard the H64. We're going to take a look at the BAM page. Let me move the IHADs out of the way. And the BAM is here on our TSD, and it's a battle area management page. So we're going to hit that and bring up the BAM. All right, so taking a look, we can, of course, pan and show, bring up our show pages. We're not going to mess with any of that stuff. Uh, we're mostly concerned about what's over here on the left side. So we've got type, we've got priority fire, and no fire zones. And we've got our options of how to set these up. So auto, manual, and target reference points. We're gonna talk primarily the auto and manual. So I'm gonna leave it on auto for now. And then zones, and then if we wanna use uh, boxes or setup with lines. So we're gonna leave these uh, alone for the moment. First thing we need to do is bring our cursor back over. And again, if you don't know how to do it, we just move our cursor to the side. We're gonna double click to the right, and it's gonna hop on over. All right, so we want to set up a priority fire zone. This is essentially prioritizing what the FCR is going to scan for us and we're going to be able to engage. So we've already established priority fire zones. We've got the option set to auto. We've got one zone. So all I'm going to do is just move it to the top. For me, you could do whichever corner you want, but I'm just going to say the top left corner of where I want to draw this box. So I've got my cursor where I want. I'm going to use the cursor enter button. I'm just going to tap that. And then I'm going to drag it just like you would drag a mouse okay you can hit clear and start over if you like you're gonna hit enter you can see that clear pops up down there it tells you that you're ready and you just move this box to wherever you want and then I'm gonna hit enter again and now I have priority fire zone one all right so what's gonna happen is if when we scan it's gonna scan it's gonna pick up all kinds of targets and it's gonna prioritize engaging the targets here and we're gonna demonstrate that here in a little bit with some live targets but first we've got to activate that zone. So we're going to go over here and activate priority fire zone one. And now we can see these little lines are moving. All right, so this is our zone. We have ability to transmit zones to other people. We'll worry about that uh, here in a little while. All right, so we're going to scan. We're going to pick up targets. We're going to prioritize engaging targets inside the zone. What about a no fire zone? So we're going to select uh, type no fire. And we're going to do the exact same thing. And I'm going to hit the enter button. And I'm going to create a box. You can see that it's yellow. Hit enter again. Accept. Activate. Once again, we see the little lines moving. If we don't activate it, it's not going to work. So what's going to happen is it's going to do a scan. It's going to find targets. But it's going to, not going to let us shoot targets as long as this is activated. Okay, it's going to ignore those targets. It's going to give us these targets and prioritize those. All right, I'm going to delete these and start from scratch. So let's say that we did have a wingman. We're going to change this to a two zone auto move my cursor hit enter drag hit enter again. So now it's created two zones that are next to one another. All right, we're going to activate primary zone one. And if we wanted to change over and use priority fire zone two, we could just do that easy enough let's take a look at manual first let me delete I change this to manual so let's say that we want to have one guy focused in this area and another guy focused in this area set up two zones get my box there's zone one and get my box and there's zone two. All right, so I want to activate. Which zone do I want to use? I want to use priority fire zone one. All right, our last option is the TRP, so target reference point. So we're going to select TRP. We can change the size of these kilometers. We're going to put three. And essentially what this is doing is dropping a target reference point that then the priority fire zones will be built around. So if TRP, let's call this our TRP, this road intersection, and I'm just going to plop that down by hitting enter. So now we can see that we've got four priority fire zones that we can then uh, divvy up. I'm going to activate priority fire zone one. So now that is our priority fire zone. All right, so let's head on out to the range. 
we'll get some actual targets in there and we'll demonstrate how the system uh, differentiates between those targets based on those zones. All right, so we're coming into our battle position. Same targets we've been using for all these other videos. I'll get us established, but first I'm gonna just go ahead and do a scan. I'm armed, I've got the FCR selected. I'm just gonna do a quick scan because this is gonna help us uh, figure out how these zones work by just having an initial scan. So let me get this thing stabilized and then we'll dig into it. All right, aircraft is stable, armed, FCR. We've done our scan. I'm gonna just get another scan because I think it's gonna pick up a few more things and that'll help us figure stuff out. Okay, good. So it's picked up a armored vehicle off to the right and then one off the center. It's made this as the priority target. So that's good. So now we can sort of dig in uh, to these priority fire zones and figure out how they work. So let me lock my head over here and I'm gonna go ahead and move my eye hats. Lord willing, we don't uh, fly off too much. All right. What I'm going to do is go to the BAM page. And as we said, we've we've detected all of these targets. So I'm going to set up a priority fire zone. I'm going to set it up here. All right. So let me move my uh, cursor over there. Over. All right. We've got priority fire zone. We'll set up auto. One box is all we need. Enter. Drag enter now if I do a scan we should get the same results as before and we do so it wants to shoot this target because we did not activate our zone so we're gonna go ahead and activate party fire zone one we're gonna do another scan so remember this was our next to shoot scan and now we can see that it wants to shoot into this box so if i fired off uh, four missiles we should hit all four of these targets because they're going to prioritize everything in this box all right so i'm going to deactivate this box do one more scan and we're back to it's just choosing of all of the target array now let's throw a no fire zone out there too many buttons all right so i'm going to put a no fire zone oops hit the wrong button I'm gonna put a no fire zone right over that guy. I'm gonna accept and activate. Now let's do a scan. Let's see what happens. So now it's not even detecting that. It's not even, I should say, it's detecting it. It's ignoring it for us. It doesn't even want us to. to, to, to to accept it as a target to even know that it's there all right so it is not a target so why would you use a no fire zone well this could be a friendly position this could be a civilian center uh you could put this over a town a village you know rotor section bridge you know, something that you just flat out do not want to affect with fires all right so it's preventing you from doing that and so now it's defaulted to grabbing uh these guys which happen to be inside of our primary fire zone uh, but our priority fire zone, but we don't even have that activated. So that's just a, a happy coincidence. All right, so if we uh, deactivate the no fire zone, let's do another scan. And once again, we can see that it has detected it, created it as the primary target because that's what it thinks is the biggest threat to us. All right, so hopefully that makes a lot of sense. Now what we need to do is talk about how to transmit and use these zones among ourselves and our wingmen. For this part of the video, Jake joined me to show how to transmit and receive these various zones via the longbow net. Okay, so I'm going to create a uh, priority fire zone and a no fire zone and then transmit them over to you. So the first thing is just double check. Comms are set up, so own ship. I'm G1 and I think you were G3. I am G3. All right. All right, so I'm going to go to the BAM page. I'm going to set up a priority fire zone. Actually, I'm going to skip. Uh, it's about 10 kilometers. All right, so I'm going to go to BAM, move my cursor, and I'm going to set up an auto priority fire zone of two, two zones right in front of us. And I'm going to set up a no fire zone in the middle of it. Fun. All right. All right, so 
I am going to go back to priority fire zone up at the top. I'm going to hit assign. I'm going to assign you, since you're off to my right, I'm going to assign you priority fire zone 2. Assign that to G3. And now I'm going to send it all to you. Got me. Alright. I'm going to go out of assign. And I'm going to activate my priority fire zone 1. And I'm going to select type to no fire zone. And I'm going to hit activate for that as well. So on my screen, I've got priority fire zone 1 and the no fire zone with the little wormy lines moving along. And then you should activate priority fire zone 2 and the no fire zone and have the same thing on your end. Yep, got it. All right. So in theory, and we can't test this theory because as we've just discovered, uh, for whatever reason, we're not able to scan and pick up targets when we're in the same mission. Not sure what's going on there, but uh, the process is the same. I could scan, pick up targets, send them to you, and then in theory, your aircraft should engage targets in priority fire zone two and exclude anything within no fire zone one. I should engage targets in priority fire zone one and exclude targets in the no fire zone. All right, so I'm going to delete all of that. You can delete it too. Okay. Delete both of those. And then I want you to create and then send it to me. So my BAM page is stuck on... Um, I've got select no fire one on the left. Mm -hmm. Type. Oh, there we go. I'm back. All right, I'm deleting. Yeah, there you go. Got it. Sending it to you. Okay. All right. I received mail. Gosh, I don't even remember how to receive. Oh, there it is. Receive. All right. So I've got the tone. Got a priority fire zone notice. And I'm accepting that. And I've got it. Okay, you got it way up there. That's cool. All right. So when I go to attack phase, I can see the priority fire zones. If I'm in nav phase, I cannot. All right. So, um, actually, I don't even remember it. Was that a thing that you could show? It is this thing. Okay, so if you go to show page and you go to, and you're in nav, you can actually bring up the zones there. So that's cool. All right, so we're going to go back to attack phase. I got party fire zone one and party fire zone two. Now, what you can do is assign before you send it to me, or I can just assign it to myself. Or did you assign it already? I did not assign it. Okay. I just That's fine. It and it. Fine. So I'm going to be party fire zone one. So I'm going to hit assign, or I'm sorry, I'm going to come out of assign and I'm going to say activate and I'm going to choose which one. So you could verbally tell me that I'm fire zone one, or you can preset it up before you send it to me like I did sending it to you. So no big deal. And just from my understanding of what I'm seeing, the, the box that's being encircled, like where the line is moving, that's the active zone, correct? Correct. So yours Got should it. be two, the one on the right. Got it. Okay. Now I want you to create a no fire zone. It's the same process. You're going to go up to type. You're going to hit, uh, hit that button once to go to NF. And then you're just going to drop a box and then you're going to hit accept. And then you can send it to me. Send me. All right. And so the proper terminology would be check mail. So if you send something to somebody, it's check mail. Uh, and I do get the tone and I see up on my uh, UFD, it says NF zone. So I'm going to come out of the BAM. I hit receive. No fire zone from G3 via the longbow net. I accept. Okay, so now I've got uh, NF1. So I'm going to go back to the BAM. And then I have to go to type until it says NF. And now I'm going to hit activate. And now NF1 is activated. And I can activate PF1 as well. So both of those are active. And again, if you don't see the lines moving around, then it means it's not active. It's not doing anything for you. It's kind of easy. It's it's super easy. It's just one of those things where you play with it a couple times and then, uh, and then it all jives. And perfect timing because my track IR battery just died. Thanks a lot for watching. Hopefully you guys learned something. Again, as always, a big thank you to Patreon supporters and to YouTube members for keeping the lights on here. Big thanks to Jake for taking some time out to help me work through this video. 
Some people say you shouldn't ask people to subscribe to your channel. I think that's bullshit. If you like what you see, you should subscribe. It costs you nothing. It helps the channel out. I appreciate you guys watching, and we will see you on the next one. Take it easy.